Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. Currently working on Luchara Hockey 94. This is like the fifth, probably, hockey game I've made. I've made a few. Uh, so we're working on that, it's a little over half done. Um, research team, currently idle. Second grade development team, currently idle. Um, let's do a free update for Pirate Ninjas 5 Remastered Walk the Plank, which is a paid add-on. Um, marketing team is not currently doing anything. Does anything need a demo? Um, not really. Not really. Okay, so no demos. Um, so what could we do with these people? Uh, get 90 hype there. All right, they're just going to chill for now, I guess. Um, console team. Oh, we got some maxed out people in the game design training room. But my console development team is not currently doing anything. So let's work on cost optimization for Lucera Super System. We got a lot we can do here. Oh my God, that's $28 million. <laughs> but it'll be worth it in the long run, I think. I hope. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real here. I'm a little disappointed in the sales of Lucera Super System, my newest console. It's it's just it hasn't been good. Like just, just straight up. It just hasn't been great. All right, so they're all maxed out. You're pretty much maxed out. Yeah, most of them are pretty much maxed out. So let's put them in there. Now I guess I need to put all of them in there. And let's move at least a few out for training here. So like you and you and you. And put them in there. So we're at what, 29 of 33? 17 to 20 here, but I mean, there's people in training rooms that will fill those slots. Uh, we got a maxed out researcher. So let's find a little researcher to replace them. Getting pretty high. Our, our lowest is pretty good at this point, which is the goal. Actually, probably go for a couple extra researchers. Let's do that. Let's find an extra researcher or two. We will go efficient because speed is everything for researchers. And graphics team is working on chair hockey. Sound team is working on chair hockey. QA is working on chair hockey. Mocap team is working on chair hockey. Yeah, all right. I think we can let it rip. RPG engine was licensed. I made a massive one hundred eighty-six thousand dollars. <laughs> Just kidding. That was not. That is not massive. And maybe we'll, maybe look for one more researcher. Would be good. Oh, and yeah, my sub teams started this game later than my main team. So it's going to be done, but my sub teams are probably not going to be done because they were working on polishing the paid add on for a stretch. So I got to keep that in mind. Um, so Rule of Chair Brothers 6 is about to come off the market. Should I do a new one, a new Super Little Chair Brothers game? How popular is platformers right now? Ooh, 80% and it's not saturated? Uh, sign me up for that. <laughs> um, and this is a tech level 3 game, I think. Or is it? Uh, yes, because it's for all three systems. So this next game is going to be tech level 4. So let's make this engine tech level 4. Nice, which we now have two, we have two stars or three stars in the physics, so should be a pretty solid game, I think. I hope. My fingers are crossed. Medium market dominance for the jump engine, that is good as well. All right. Oh, and there's another maxed out game designer. Let's put you in there. Nice. All right. Uh, let's go with the large booth. Um, what could you know, <laughs> Not many of these games really need any hype, but we can. Ooh, my consoles. Oh, my consoles need hype. My consoles desperately need some hype. That's what I can do with my marketing team. Ooh, look at you. Efficient. All-rounder. All-rounder is kind of wasted in research, but lucky is good. All right, so hardware. And cancel this. And let's market console. Share pocket. Yeah, I, I kind of let this. Uh, I kind of let the hype get a little too low there. That's on me. 
That's my bad. Jump engine was licensed. I'm not making much off these engines. I might have to raise the share and percent that I'm looking for. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm not really making anything as it is right now. Let's throw an update of Lead Dead 2, which is selling fairly well. It's only my second FPS game. Um, so, yeah. So, this game is done, technically. 60 to 80 estimated review. There's a ton of bugs. It's QA. QA started late. Um, graphics team is still working on it. MoCap is still working on it. Sound team is still working on it, right? So I expect that's going to be way lower once the game is done. There we go, 80 to 100, just like that. Um, but I think, oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff just happened. Dev kits and stuff. All right, so yeah, so we're still waiting for graphics and sound. Everybody else is done. Um, we got some more maxed out folks. Including a game tester. All right, so what's the lowest game tester I have here? 60. It's creeping up. It's not as high as some of the other rooms, but it's getting there. And we got a maxed out programmer. Put them in the mocap studio. Nope, nope. They're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> That's a game designer. All right, so let's grab... I will take a mocap person out to put in the training, though. Um, this is the person. Yes. So you can now go over here. Learn game design as well. Uh, it's game design. Maxed. Maxed. Um, put both of them in there. And eh, should I put one in? No, that's fine. That works. And let's take one or two of the folks from here. Like you. That's You're pretty low. <laughs> Put them in training. All right. Uh, anything else I can research? No. All right. So, yeah, we're still waiting for the graphics team. Does that mean I need a bigger graphics team? I wonder. I don't really have much space to make it bigger, <laughs> to make the room bigger. So, we, I don't know. All right. So, let's get these cases done. And... Okay, graphics is done, a little polishing. Let's do some pre-release special marketing, and then we will release Chara Hockey 94 into the world. Uh, we do some commission work here. A little extra money in my pocket, which is always good. Never a bad thing to have money. <laughs> Much like real life. It's always good to have extra money. And nope, not market research. Marketing campaign, console... Chair Super System. Let's get that up. All right, so the summer slump is over. Yeah, sales are a little better. I'm still disappointed, um, especially compared to the Chair Pocket. I'm quite happy with the Blue Chair Pocket sales lately. 200,000 versus 43,000. A little different. A little difference there. All right, so finish development. Search publisher. Sports. We'll go through Unisoft. Oh, so this is not this is not sports as a genre. This is sports as a topic. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so this is not super saturated. Ninety-eight percent. That's what we want to see. Now, sequel, Super Lucera Bros. Where are you at? This is in alphabetical order. So it's down in the S's. Um, this is going to be a triple A game. I'm like almost positive. So we're just going to go triple A for now. Um, so it's a platformer action, magic fantasy. This will be exclusive. Yeah, let's make this exclusive for the Lucera Super System. Let's see if we can we can make it a system seller. I mean, I'm probably going to lose money on it. <laughs> right, that's fine. All right, new copy protection is out. As long as it moves a lot of consoles, I don't care if it loses money, honestly. Um, everything looks locked in. These are supposed to be 25s across the board, I think. That's the case for platformer. If you throw action in, that may change it a bit. Nope, 25s across the board is what we want. So let's do that. Here, yeah, 4450. So I could make it double A. I would have to cut uh four features. I'm not really interested in cutting four features, right? So, I mean, everything except wheeled support <laughs> applies. 
So yeah, this is gonna be an expensive game. And that's fine. I I want I want this to be a system seller. It just needs to be good. Which I think it will be. Well, the fact the fact that I'm not maxed out on the engine stuff and several of the features makes me think I'm pr it's probably not gonna be like I think it could be a 98. I just don't think it could be I don't think it's gonna be higher than a 98. Which is fine, as long as it hits that 98, right? So we're just gonna move some maxed out folks out of training and into their respective rooms. Move some lower folks. Ooh, 78 is my lowest, lowest graphics person. That's pretty good. And research, okay. All right, so they're still working on cost optimization. They're working on that. They're working on commission work still. Should be done that relatively soon, though. We'll get an early patch out for Luchera Hockey. Which should be selling fairly well. Not really. I guess it is It is a manufacturer exclusive. Super Luchera Bros. 7. One of my developers has, Ill has illegally sent screenshots and information about your current game to a well-known game magazine. Fortunately, the printed report was well-received and increased interest. I will allow it then. All right, so we just need to do one marketing campaign for this. Get it to 100 hype. I could probably, eh, I could have done a demo, I guess, and then an, an overhype, but this works as well. All right, so you are a game designer who is full. Let's train you in programming as well. New platform, the Play X. All right, so what type of game am I gonna make next? Um, and what level is it going to be? Puzzle? Yeah, let's do a puzzle game next. Um, but it's only going to be tech level 3. So I'm, I'm making a tech level 4 game right now. So let's just make sure the puzzle engine has... Oh, the puzzle engine already has tech 4 stuff. So we might as well make a tech 4 puzzle game, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Question mark? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So, if I'm, I don't need to update an engine, let's throw a three update at Pirate Ninjas 5 Remastered add on. All right, so my consoles, hype wise, are good. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, there's no research to be done. Super Wheelchair Bro 7's come along nicely. Cost optimization is coming along nicely. Oh, we have some research, folks. Modern Sudo 3D graphics. Fancy. So let's wait for that to be done, and then we will update the puzzle engine. Since that is the plan, right? And where are we at here? Oh, hey. If you're enjoying the video, enjoying this series in general, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. And we got gameplay features, VR helmet support. I wonder if that applies to a platformer slash action game. One way to find out. It does. So let's throw that in there. Bow Hunter 7 is off the market. Made a little bit of money, but it moved 200,000 of my consoles, right? So I'm, I'm happy with that, or at least I'm satisfied at the very least. All right, and console feature, friends list. All right, so let's just continue development for a minute here. Let's do pre-release special marketing. Pre-release with the press, and then overhype. And let's throw another update at Luchera Hockey. And then overhype. Okay, so that went through, so we're just gonna polish. Everybody's polishing, right? Yes, they are. Overhype did not work. That's fine. Finish development. Come on. 98 or better. Preferably better. <laughs> but if it's 98, I'll be I'll be satisfied. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, having zero stars. Actually, VR helmet support might have actually hurt the game. Um, because having something with zero stars gives a negative to your review score. 
But now for the next game, right? We have a star in it. And 98%. I'm happy. It'd be nice to crack the 98% barrier, right? I feel like it's been a while since I've done that. All right, so sequel to Digger Dugger, I believe, is my puzzle. My main puzzle IP. Definitely not my most valuable IP, but it's creeping up there. So this is a puzzle strategy game. Um, double A. We'll leave it at double A for now, but I have a feeling this is going to end up being triple A. All right, so let's go multi-platform this time. We just did an exclusive. So this time we'll go multi. And tech level four dev kits. Got the phaser active. We got the Katari Puma. Got the Sigi Uranus, but we don't really want to go with either of these because they're they're complex. So it takes longer to develop and it's not really worth the extra sales. So let's just go with the 40O, which is kind of complex on its own, but it does add 2 million users, right? Which is less than the super system, but I mean, the PC adds 151 and the Mac another 20 million. So this, this one should sell pretty well because it's reaching a lot of people. So we will go with the modern pseudo, 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 pseudo 3D graphics. Um, oh, that looks good. Let's look at the letters for the last one. I'm assuming we're going to want to move them the way. Um, so we want more core, more violence. More core, more violence. And these, I want to say it's supposed to be that, probably. But I'm really not sure. One way to find out, I guess. Oh, 50, 10, 10, 30. All right, well, there you go. 50, 10, 10, 30. Turn on everything. 41 to 40. All right, so I only need to cut one feature. Keep the cost down. So let's just cut, say, checkpoints. It doesn't add very much. We'll cut that. I we'll want to cut that. Yeah, let's just... Let's keep costs low. I feel like my bank account hasn't really gone up lately, right? I mean, I'm not... I'm not in danger of going bankrupt or anything, but it's been a while since I bought out a competitor. I mean, I guess I've been putting a lot of money into consoles lately and the super system is creeping up. We do have a uh, holiday season coming soon as well. Be nice to get that done. That uh, hopefully that cost optimization is close to done by then. All right, day one patch for Super Chair Bros, marketing campaign for Digger Dugger. Get it up to 90. Uh, we do not have any research to do. I um, have any game reports. Am I behind? Ooh, I have three game reports. I best do those. Get some high quality graphics, high quality animations, and some high quality sounds. Um, looks like I have a few maxed out people in training. Uh, you're close enough that I'm going to pull you out as well. Let's pull in the lowest two into training, which is pretty high. Although one of these people was has the learn slower trait. <laughs> so they might be in training for a while. All right, so we got another max to graphics person. Grab the lowest, which is, wait, 87 is my lowest graphics person? All right, so basically at this point, my graphics people don't need any training. <laughs> They're pretty much just maxed out. That's great. That's a good problem. Well, it's not even a problem. <laughs> Shouldn't call it a problem because it's not a problem. But I will leave the room there, the training room, because my developers do need to learn graphics as well. Right? If you really want to maximize your main, your main development team, you need, them, you need them fluent in all four. Right? Gameplay, graphics, sound, and technical. All right, so wow, that marketing did not take long, <laughs> apparently. All right, so strategy is going to be the trend for 18 more weeks, and then it's going to change to visual novel, we think, which is definitely not my forte, right? Like, 
Visual novel, bicycle. Ooh, bicycle. That means racing game. Because my racing, my main racing IP, super bikes. Yeah, you guessed it. Bicycles. So, all right. So this is a tech four game. So racing. Do I want to make a tech another? Th yeah, I probably should. I probably should try to get more games out of Blue Chair Pocket. So this is going to be tech three game. I'm assuming we already have the best tech level three stuff. We do. Okay. So I don't need to touch that. We can leave that as is. All right. So how are these games selling? Kickboxer is selling pretty well. Oh, Led Dead 2 is selling really well. Considering that it's only my second FPS game and it's not <laughs> it's not that good of a game. Like it's it's fine, but that's uh better than I expected. All right, and customer support room is still keeping up. They're doing what they need to do. Which is good. Um we got two more max out researchers. Didn't I just check this one? I guess we got a couple more that aren't that far away as well. All right. Perfect. Oh, Digger Dugger 8. Lost points because one of my level designers accidentally overrode a level. You're fired. Best graphics, best sound, developer of the year, publisher of the year is kind of me because that's one of the ones I own. And game of the year. And I always like when this happens. Best graphics, best sound, game of the year. They're all me. They're also all different games. I like that. Ooh, we got a new sound chip. Where are you at, sound chip? So this is the better tech level four stuff. This doesn't really matter. Like technically, I don't even really need to research this. I'm not ever going to use this chip, but so that's just a waste of money. So, but I don't know. It's easier to have that stuff gone, so you can just automate it, right? Ooh, man, that there was some lag with that autosave. All right, so we're in the holiday season. You see how my games are selling better. Consoles. Ooh, 318,000 a week for the chair pocket. 115,000 for the super system. That's solid. Would I like even a little better? Yes. Um, I guess I could market the Mini Vision Pro. I mean, do I really want to put money into these two old consoles? Oh, no, this one. I should probably just take this one off the market. Because it's the tech is the tech is obsolete. So let's cancel this. Get my money back. And take it off. It's only tech level two. It's not like it's getting any. I doubt it's getting many new games for it, right? Chairbox Pro is up to 125% bonus. It's still selling a bit. Not great, but we'll leave it on there for now. All right, and what else wants an update here? Uh, kickboxer, sure. I did note that it was selling fairly well. Action engine was licensed. Did not make. <laughs> I'm not making much money off licensing these engines, and that's okay. Kind of funny though. Level three items have been unlocked. This would be this button. Would make all the desks better. Oh, yeah, these are some nice clean desks. Clean, very clean. But yeah, right now my the super system's at negative $74 million profit. But that's because this cost optimization costs so much, right? Um, both of these could use a little durability hit as well. Or durability boost. Not hit. <laughs> Do a quick demo for Super Chair Bro 7. And then we will do pre-release special marketing for Digger Dugger. Which I expect is going to be a good game. So I'm just going to go ahead and overhype it. Without looking. Which is probably potentially not smart. Alright, so how is Super Lucero Bros selling? Oh wow, it's actually selling really well. Like, considering that it's only for the one console. That is. Right? It's only for the Lucero Super System. 
right? Which does not have that many users. So it's already, yeah, it's already moved 25,000 share super systems. Like it's selling more than the Lutera hockey, which is for three of my systems. So yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled with that. Like thrilled. All right. Did overhype go through yet? Let's polish it a little bit. Uh, make sure all my sub rooms are polishing. They are. Overhype was successful. So let's release this into the wild. I like the fact that there's stars in all of these, right? That means this is my highest score in all of these that I've ever had. So this might be very good. Um, wait, do I not have a pause? No, I don't have a puzzle or strategy um, subsidiary. So I'm going to have to invest in one of those at some point. All right, so yeah, we got some stars. We have a star in modern pseudo 3D graphics now. This one should sell pretty well too. 98%. So I pretty much every game I make is just 98% now. Right? Like that's how it feels anyway. Um, so yeah, the plan for next episode will be to make a racing game. That's going to be all for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.